Dr. Mark Jagiezi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about the illusion of control and how it underlies, it doesn't explain, but it's sort of a, another way of understanding the degree to which people believe in the interventions regardless of the data. So the illusion of control is characterized or illustrated very nicely by gamblers, like the roulette table. And I've often hung out with people uh, family and friends at the roulette table and, and you can explain to them, you tell them that you realize, don't you, that what happens in the roulette table, you get the ball you know, going around in circles and the thing is spinning, what happens this time has no relationship to what happens at the next one or the next one. These are probabilistically independent. It has no memory of what happened before. And they'll nod their head and they'll say, yes, I understand. But nevertheless, when you watch them play, internally deeper inside they still don't get it the human mind is it's very hard to not appreciate the fact that you really have no control and the way that they believe that they have control is that let's say red hasn't come up in a while it's been a bunch of blacks or too many blacks relative to how much you know to 50 50 chance they go it's time for a red and so they'll push their things more on red or push things onto even versus odds because it hasn't been there for a while and you could even say, yeah, but you realize that it has no memory as to whether it's been on black more often than red. They go, yes, I, I totally agree. And they will still, still do it, and they'll still spend hours doing this kind of thing. And occasionally they'll be rewarded, and they feel as if they're in control by virtue of these rough and ready intuitions they have about what ought to come next. They are controlling their fortunes, not by virtue of controlling the wheel, but by virtue of understanding how it works in some sense in their bones, and then controlling their bets. So if people can be so warped, naturally, we're instinctively, instinctively biased in such a way that we're susceptible to gambling, and this is why gambling works, because we all feel like we can control it, and of course we invariably lose, which is why uh, casinos stay in business. Imagine then the interventions, and the in interventions which over and over again, the lockdowns, the shutdowns, the social distancing, the masking, has been shown over and over again to have no effect. When you do correlations worldwide in terms of the stringency of these measures and whether there's a correlation between pandemic severity, there's been no correlation. But yet people still feel in their bones that they have to be working, that they are working, that these measures are in fact controlling or modulating the virus. Well, you shouldn't be surprised that it's working this illusion of control is making them think that here because they're even thinking that in cases where it's clear, probabilistically clear, probabilistically clear. In fact, you could, they even nod their head. I think they really get it at some conscious level, but they're implicitly in their bones. They don't get it for gambling. Here, it kind of makes sense. Well, you're putting something in front of the face. There's some sort of vague intuition. It should stop things at a macroscopic level. You don't really sort of get in your bones these micro, nano, sort of micron scale things. Um, distancing people apart should somehow help but of course it's a much more complex thing in society and when you make one change here it has all these other kinds of changes here which could in fact uh, 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 increase transmission rates but still you're involved in controlling things that seem to it to first order maybe affect something so you're going to be much more susceptible to the illusion control the illusion of control in these cases like the interventions than you are even in the case of gambling at a roulette table and as you know, gambling at a roulette table is enough to suck people in and get them to slowly bleed their money. Those same biases of the human mind are at play in why people are not learning from experience that the interventions aren't working. And that was your science moment.